Your Honor, Excellencies, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome to this uh, election-free zone. <laughs> you can uh, sit back and relax and uh, have a bit of a break uh, from that. And then you can dive back in after, after this event. It's really great to be uh, back in Toronto, one of the most important cities in the world of films and home, of course, to the Toronto Film Festival. Canada has uh, fostered many talents, actors and filmmakers. One of my favorite films is uh, um, a sci-fi sci movie from 99 called Existence, uh, which I think is a Canadian film, right? Um, and uh, some of the funniest people um, on screen uh, are Canadian, such as uh, Jim Carrey and Michael Cera. The movie uh, that we are about to see is uh, um, more uh, serious, I guess. Uh, the movie we are seeing is set in the Second uh, World War, in the early days. Um, Norway developed a close tie to Toronto during World War II. The first training camp for Norwegian fighter pilots uh, known as Little Norway, was located in what is today the Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. Oh. My father, King Harold, visited Toronto and Little Norway several times as a small boy while he was living in exile. The hospitality shown by the city at a crucial time in Norway's history has given Canada and Toronto a special place in the hearts of Norwegians. It is therefore a particular, particularly appropriate that the film The King's Choice is having its first international screening right here. This year we celebrated the 25th anniversary of the accession of the throne uh, for my parents and one of the events that we uh, arranged uh, on this occasion was to invite everyone uh, to an outdoor screening of The King's Choice in the Palace Park in Oslo, and it was completely packed. I think we had around uh, 12,000 people there um, just a few weeks ago. It was a rather cold um, um, fall evening, a little bit of rain also, um, but it was an unforgettable experience uh, to see the film for the first time in this way together with uh, my family. Many of the scenes in the film has been shot inside uh, the palace in Oslo, uh, and also in our home, uh, right outside of Oslo, called Skagu. So you'll see some, some parts of the movie from there. So just to give you a little background. On the 9th of April 1940, uh, Nazi troops invaded Norway. The government, members of parliament and the royal family had to flee Oslo. And my great-grandfather, King Håkon VII, was given an ultimatum by the occupation forces. Surrender and appoint the Nazi-friendly leader, Dietgen Kvistling, as prime minister, or be responsible for the loss of thousands of lives. The film shows the dilemma that King Håkon and his son, my grandfather, were facing. It tells the story of three very dramatic days in Norwegian history. In both Norway and Canada, we are fortunate to be living in well-functioning democracies. Reflecting over our history, we are reminded that democracy, democracy, security and freedom should never be taken for granted. The King's Choice has been appointed the Norwegian Oscar contribution 2017. And over the few, last few years, Norwegian film has received international acclaim. We wish the film the best of luck in the Oscar competition and are very proud to present it to this distinguished audience here in Toronto tonight. I hope you will enjoy the movie. Thank you for your attention.